Wobblies. Welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this video we're taking a look at the Helio Pressure Shower, their LX model. This episode is made possible in part by generous supporters on Patreon. In the previous video when we went to Baca Campground, I used the Helio Pressure Shower that we had and it was the smaller version. This one is larger. And we had the smaller version for about three years and it worked great but we wore it out. It wouldn't pump up and get a lot of pressure anymore. So when we looked to replace it, we saw that Nemo has a LX version of their Helio pressure shower, and that's what this one is. The LX model holds 22 liters or 5.8 gallons of water. The smaller one that we did have would hold 11 liters. This LX model, as well as the smaller one that we had, both have seven foot hoses on them. It comes in a nice drawstring bag, and it's a lightweight bag. Cool. Oh, I see. Oh, that's for packaging. Okay, cool. All right, so this is awesome. In the bottom of the bag, it's mesh. After you take the packaging out, it's mesh, and so it will dry out very easily. The smaller version that we did have, the bag that it came with had holes in it. It had small holes, almost like put in by a hole punch, and there weren't very many of them. But the mesh bottom on this is awesome, because that's one thing I always worried about. The other one was putting it up wet. Here's your foot pump. This is the pressure shower. And here is the hose. Oh, it's a heavier weight hose than was on the littler one. Oh, I like the hose. It has the same spray nozzle. An addition on this LX model is this little silicone sleeve. Move it down so you can see. And it looks like it's basically in place and just stays on there. What the silicone sleeve is for is if you want to continue a spray where you don't have to hold the nozzle and hold the trigger down in order for it to spray, is you can slip this little sleeve up and it'll hold it down for you. And also it has a hole in the little sleeve so that you can hook it over something to hold it up. That's kind of cool. Another difference of this LX model over the smaller version that we had is that it has a large opening in the top to pour water in. The smaller model has a small hole in the top. It's about half dollar size and it has a rubber plug that you push in that has ridges on it to hold it in place. This one is large enough that you can get your hand into for cleaning and for drying out, rinsing out easily. And it also has a screw top lid as opposed to a push plug that stays in place with friction. Anyway, so this is nice. This is another reason that we chose to get the LX model is the large opening. It'll make it easier to pour water into it. it has a handle on the side, handle on the top, Oh, I've toyed it in a knot. It also has a little D-ring on the side that you can use to hook the little nozzle in to hold the nozzle for you. That's kind of cool. The smaller version didn't have that. There's two ways to heat water for your pressure shower. One is by the sun. Now 5.8 gallons, 22 liters is a lot of water. So it's gonna probably take a while depending on how much sun you have and how much water you have in the tank and the temperature the water was when you poured it in. Another thing you can do is what we have always done and that's to heat up the water and then pour it in. And it's probably also a good idea to always test the water temperature before you spray it on you. To put pressure in the tank, you first open only the top little stopper here, and then you'll press with your foot on the foot pedal. If you were to fill this tank with water completely, that's gonna be about 50 pounds because water weighs about 8.3 pounds per gallon, and that's gonna be pretty heavy. Also, it doesn't give you a lot of air space to create the pressure for the spray. So mainly because it's easier for me to use a smaller amount of water and also it'll allow a lot of air space to create pressure for the spray. We're going to be putting in about three and a half gallons depending how good my aim is 
and go from there. My aim sucks. Hey, beeps. Okay, we're going to be putting in a little less than three and a half gallons of water. With the smaller tank, I noticed that the pressure that would come out of the nozzle was much stronger when holding it low as opposed to holding it high. Not bad. Not bad. That's doable. That's a quite acceptable amount of water. With a portable shower like this, where you have a limit to the amount of water that you have, you really don't want a huge spray anyway, because you want to get as much time under the shower out of the water as you can. Didn't lose a lot of pressure in the tank with that little bit. And the way the little silicone sleeve works, press down the nozzle, bring the little sleeve up, and it holds it down so it'll keep spraying. So we have it about halfway full of water, and it's keeping its pressure very, very well. A lot better than the smaller tank was. Also on the side of the tank is another strap so you can carry it like that. And there's the D-ring on the side for holding the little nozzle. Let's see what its dimensions are when it's pressurized. From the ground to the top of the lid, it's about 22 inches. It's about 10 inches across. The cap has a keeper on it so when you unscrew it, which we will do with full pressure, so you won't lose the cap and it won't fall off into the dirt. It's a lot easier to empty too, and it has a handle on the bottom. That is, so you could even just hang it and let it dry. I like that. There's a lot of thought into this one. And the bottom's designed so that the foot pump and the hose can fit inside. It has a reinforced edge around the bottom of its perimeter to help protect and give a place for the foot pump and the hose to go. Viva, move. <laughs> Thank you. So that works pretty good to put the bottom in first and the foot pump and the hose and everything and then just kind of get it settled and then collapse the top. Oh, I like this bag. It was always a challenge to get the smaller tank into its bag. It fit a lot more snugly. I like this one. It has a little extra wiggle room and it seems to work better. 
I forgot to do the measurements of it earlier, right when it was fresh out of the box and it was all packed up. So let's do that now. It's right at 10 inches across and it's about seven inches tall. Again, I didn't pack it real well. And as you can see, it can compress just a little bit more, but we're gonna call it seven inches. 10 inches across, seven inches high. So here's about the highest point. It weighs 35.3 ounces. There may be just a little bit of water in there from the water that we just put in. So as far as initial impressions go, I like it. The reasons we got it are the things that I like about it. It has a very large opening at the top now, as opposed to a smaller one. That's nice. I like that it has a twist on cap instead of just the push in plug. This is easier for me to use. I actually often had to get Bill to help me to put the plug in and even take the plug out of the smaller tank. I believe that the hose on this model is heavier duty. It doesn't bend as easily as the smaller tank hose, at least on the one that we had previously. I like the little D-ring on the side to hold the nozzle. That was always a challenge to find a place to put the nozzle while you were shampooing your hair. It's nice too that it has a handle that is up and away from the top in the smaller tank because it fits flush, it's really not a handle. It's not meant to be used as a handle. The side handle on the tank is nice too because if it is full of water, it's gonna weigh, like we said, about 50 pounds. So it'll be nice to have two places to hold on to to carry it. So that's all good. As for negatives for the little pressure shower, right now we don't have any just because we haven't used it much. We will do a follow-up review after we've used it several times out on the road to see how it works. Things in the reviews on Amazon that people said to watch for and that they were having trouble with. Basically two complaints. One of the issues people were having is the handles. Folks were saying that it was coming loose from the tank and coming off. The other major complaint is regarding the foot pump. Folks were saying that there's a spring and a little red valve in there that were coming out. And so the foot pump wouldn't work anymore. In our testing right here, um, we haven't had any issues with that. I really like it. I'm looking forward to using it. I like the little pressure shower that we had. It worked good for a really long time, and I hope we get at least three years of use out of this one too. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.